I am not taking personal readings at this time. Please do not get scammed by people posing as me in the comments section. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel, Rosology. So today we are looking into the good news that is on its way to you or that will um, be here very soon in your life. So I pulled a series of tarot cards and some oracle cards, and we're just looking into different messages regarding the good news or the good energy that is on its way to you guys very soon, especially because we are wrapping up this zodiacal year and we're about to start the spring season, um, at least in the northern hemisphere. So we'll be moving into a brand new zodiacal year um, around the end of March, around March 20th to the 21st. And so because of that, when the spring season hits, I know there's usually like this influx of new energy and new chapters and new seasons starting. And so I wanted to look into specifically the good news that that wave of energy is bringing in for us. So that's what we have going on today. I pray that you guys have been doing well, taking care of yourselves, staying healthy happy, calm, at peace, grounded, all the things. And before getting to the reading, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes here, a couple of moments to show you guys the uh, cards that I'm using because I always get questions about them and I never remember to like link them and stuff like that. So the tarot deck that I'm using is from the Empyrean Tarot by Threads of Fate. The astrology cards that I'm using, the astrology oracle cards that I'll be that I'm using in this reading is um, by Kaleida Dope, I believe, on Astrology the Deck. For the Career and Life cards, um, I'm using the Career and Life Oracle Deck. For the Moonology cards, I'm using the brand new Moonology Message Oracle Deck by Yasmin Bolin, I believe. And the final oracle message that I use in each pile today is by the Odyssey Oracle, um, which is by the Threads of Fate. All right, you guys, now that we have all that out of the way, let's just jump straight into the disclaimers and the meditation so we can get to the reason that you are here for, which is your reading. So obviously this is a general reading, meaning that it will resonate with who it is meant to resonate with. Tarot does not control or dictate your life. If you hear something that you do not like or agree with and think that you are just fixed to that reality, then you are not using my readings correctly. I conduct these readings for confirmation and not answers. So if you hear something for the first time, please do not take that message without receiving further confirmation from your higher self and spiritual team. Realize at the end of the day, you have the final say with your destiny. Your free will is your power and what you choose to do with it will determine your life outcomes, not a pick a card reading on you. YouTube. So please be responsible and accountable for your own actions and use this as a guide to help decipher the messages that your spiritual team has been trying to send you all along. If you would like to participate in this meditation, again, this is a general reading for the collective. So in order for this reading to resonate with you, you need to be synced into the energy of this reading. To help you do that and help you select a pile with your third eye and not your physical ones, I will be offering a 60 second meditation. Halfway into that meditation, I will be placing crystals for my clairvoyants. I'd like to pick piles with objects on them. And after the clairvoyant pile selection, there will be a clear audience selection where I play a different tone for each pile and you can select a pile based off of which tone resonates with you the most. If you are drawn to another pile, that's because there is another message for you in that pile. So if you are ready, get into a relaxed position, become aware of your entire body, starting with your feet and working that awareness up in sections from the feet to the head. Then take a deep breath in through your nose for around five seconds, hold that breath for three seconds, and then exhale for six to seven seconds. Then ask your guides, spirit, ancestors, the universe, or all of them to connect you to your higher self so you can receive confirming messages as to the good news that is on its way to you. So this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. On pile one is Amethyst.
on pile two is grape agate. On pile three is clear quartz. On pile four is halite. to your reading so we are starting off with your tarot cards then i'll be pulling additional oracle cards to check out what good news is on the way to you soon so starting with your tarot cards the very first one that we have is we have the five of cups and it is in reverse and then we have the four of wands upright Pile one, if you were intuitively interested in this pile, hopefully you were, <laughs> um, then you guys have been going through it behind closed doors with the five of cups in reverse and the four of wands upright. The first piece of good news is for those of you that have been struggling on your own, you will feel like you have found or connected with others or maybe even a group of people, some sort of support system that are fighting a similar battle or like they have come out on the other side of it. Um, so you may hear people in similar situations that have like positive stories, positive outcomes. Um, you know, like they have like good stories that come out of the, a similar situation that you may be in. It kind of gives you some hope, but someone or people may show you in the near future that there can be happiness beyond this five of cups situation that you may be going through because a lot of you have been trying to push on while feeling this five of cups heaviness you've been trying to keep it together without having much of a support system and the five of cups is, is about loss consuming a person to the point that they feel like they have lost everything and have nothing left to celebrate and in reverse this talks about someone who is ready and wanting to come out of that dark place four of wands is the card that is generally about the home which can translate to your own personal temple or body even as well as community or home base so this is somewhere where we feel welcome and appreciated and from the five of cups in reverse this is telling me my pile ones are more open to moving on past the disappointment and the heartbreak and you are starting to feel more deserving of finding your tribe and your happiness with this four of wands over here and this can apply anywhere so fill in the blank so for instance this could be like someone who started to be emotionally drained in a relationship of theirs and finally feeling ready to drop that baggage and embrace new relationships where they're being honored and this could be someone that left a job because 
because they were feeling unappreciated and are looking to join a workspace that feels upbeat and positive. So the point is there's like a drastic shift from the five of cups feeling of despair and hopelessness stemming from the past to the four of wands feeling optimistic and hopeful about the future and about finding your place somewhere. Because four of wands is also the card of like, oh my God, I found my home. I found my place. I found where I belong pretty much. So for those of you that are feeling kind of like, um, I guess an outcast, or you're just feeling like you're very different. A lot of you too, you could be going through a spiritual awakening right now. And you're about to come out on the other side of it um, because what's also coming through is the feeling of like feeling like you can't relate to people anymore. Maybe feeling like you can't relate to your friends or your family, your coworkers, the people that you hang out with and socialize with, like the circles that you run in. You may feel like you can't relate anymore. You may feel like you have lost interest in certain things like you have lost interest in maybe like um the media social media the internet socializing going out um maybe partying or maybe traveling or spending money like there's some sort of almost like identity that's falling away for you guys so this could be like you know an ego death but this could be like a spiritual almost like awakening um some of my pile ones are going through whether it's your first spiritual awakening or your millionth like i don't feel like we ever stop going through spiritual awakenings no matter how spiritual we are um so for some of you that were intuitively drawn to this pile you could totally feel as though you just don't relate to anything anymore in your life and that could make you kind of connect more to this five of cups energy where it's like i feel like i've lost three cups and even though i have two left standing there's just more i'm i'm more so connected to the feeling of loss of grief of despair i feel as though my life is changing and i have no control over it i don't know why i'm not into these things anymore it's it's almost like there's a a loss of like joy in a sense with this five of cups in reverse but either way, from a more generalized point, we have one energy here that is looking behind with the five of cups and the other is looking ahead with the four of wands. And that's the good news for you guys. There's this like rush of good energy where you guys feel like you have a great shot at being happy again. And it feels possible to love your life again or a specific part of your life that has felt very unfortunate and maybe even depressing for some of you. For those of you that have felt unmotivated or like you wanted to, all you wanted to do was like lie in bed all day, you will feel a change in you where you have way more energy with this four of wands over here, more excitement to do the things that you love to do or to make yourself feel better. This could be you guys connecting to a purpose connecting to something that feels like um you have you were born to do this and you know you guys are again you're going to be doing things that make you feel better like taking the time to pick out an outfit or doing your hair and makeup or fixing your nails or you know just things that make you feel good um appearance wise even you you'll find that you have the energy for that again because some of you you may have lost the energy or the enthusiasm or the motivation to kind of take care of your appearance some of you may have and because again like i said four of wands is the four of fire fire is all about spirit presence ego how we come off and the four of wands more specifically is about the temple itself and with it being upright you will find that you have more energy to invest in how you treat yourself um really really soon here and this could even extend to going back to that example that like you left a relationship a while ago and pretty soon you start to feel like you're ready to put your energy into dating again or going out and socializing more or allowing friends to set you up. The other good news here is there's finally interest in a part of your life that has drained you for some time. So this could be someone or something like a new opportunity showing interest in you and it makes you feel like the four of wands. Four of wands after coming from the five of cups in reverse can feel like I still got it. <laughs> but maybe you just need it to remember yourself or be reminded. So a lot of you could be getting a lot of extra attention um, in the near future, especially for those of you that are Pisces or Aries dominated people, because we are currently in Pisces season. Um, but we're wrapping up the zodiacal year here and we're about to start a brand new zodiacal year or wheel. 
um, with Aries season starting around like March 20th, 21st, somewhere around there. Um, so some of you guys, you could have strong Pisces or Aries influence in your own natal chart because these two cards, they feel so connected to the season that we are currently in, where again, just out of nowhere, you get the spark or you start to feel alive again. And whatever this five of cups situation was for you guys, the good news surrounding that is it truly starts to feel like it's not consuming you anymore. Like finally, you can focus on things that make you feel good versus this loss or disappointment. It's like, finally, I can turn around and appreciate those two cups that are still left standing. So let's start grabbing some Oracle cards for you. Let's see what we get. All right, so we have here what flipped over is first house self. I'll show you guys the other ones, but um, I believe the first house self is the card for you guys. But we have um, also Taurus in the 10th house. And so first house of self, it says physical appearance early. Exactly. I was talking about you guys' appearance, um, early childhood goals, desires, individuality, temperament, personality. Uh, natural tendencies, identity, and self-image. Yeah, like I said, it, it kind of almost feels like you guys are shedding an identity or maybe going through an ego death even. Um, but the first house in astrology is going to rule. And yeah, the first house is also ruled by Aries. Like I said, some of you guys, you may have some strong Aries energy in your chart or Pisces energy. Um, but the first house is also confirmation of what I was saying about how this season feels very on par for you guys because we're currently moving out of Pisces season and about to move into Aries season. So this is something that is coming up really, really soon for you guys where you have this total shift in energy. But the first house in astrology is all about you, yourself. It's your own personal brand. This is how you are cosmically and physically designed. And the first house steers the rest of the chart. You know how um, some people can kind of walk into a room and change the energy. That is exactly what the first house does. The first house really dictates the energy of the rest of the chart. And so for you guys, a lot of good news is coming to your first house area, how you present yourself, your identity, your own physical appearance, the way that you approach the world, the way that people in the world see you, the way that they receive you. Like I was saying in the beginning of your reading, we were just looking at your tarot cards. Some of you, some of you guys, you could feel like an outcast. You could feel like you're not relating to people anymore. And the first house we can kind of see, um, the first house is all about distinction. It's all about you versus me. So when we're dealing with the first house, we are dealing with um, an energy that goes out into the world and differentiates everything from itself. So it finds differences between itself and the world. So, um, so you guys are going to be coming into your own tribe of people or a support group, someone that relates to you, people that relate to you very soon. And that's a lot of good news. It's wrapped up in this first house energy for you guys as well well you're going to find someone like there's a mirror here um on this card you guys are going to find somebody that um or a support group or a group of people that they look like you spiritually so this is going to be like your kind of like your your spiritual community almost um or like your community in spirit it's just going to be people that you're more easily relating to, especially for those of you going through some sort of a spiritual awakening right now. We also have Taurus and Taurus will concern itself with um, value, abundance, prosperity. Taurus is all about the value that we put on things and the value that we put on ourselves. Taurus is all about production. So expect for you guys to um, produce more, to even attract and manifest more material things in your life. And then we have here the 10th house. 10th house is all about legacy and career and structure and authority and power so when we're dealing with the 10th house um that sits all the way at the top of the chart then we also have Taurus here that flipped over for you this is about an abundance of um uh good energy or good news or um prosperity um like it says here comfort luxury reliable reliable stubborn possessive hard work life's pleasures serenity productive determinations stability ruler of the second house so this is all about, um, you know, comfort and luxury coming to you guys or being attracted to you guys' 10th house area. And again, the 10th house is all about your career. Um, it's all about those really big aspirational goals that we have for ourselves, And then underneath the deck here we have for you, we've got Neptune mystery, confusion, imagination, dreams, artistry, Pisces. Like I was saying, you guys may have a strong Pisces or Aries energy in your chart, or this could just be talking about 
um, some sort of good news that is coming right around the corner for you guys. So now we have an Aries influence and Pisces influence because Neptune rules Pisces. Um, it says spirituality, subconscious, intuition, clairvoyance, illusions, dreams, visions, depth, and consciousness. Um, so Neptune is a planet of mystery. It is a planet that distorts everything. It's a planet that kind of molds or melds, um, things together so there's no distinction between past and present or past and future you and me or good and bad or light and dark like Neptune kind of molds everything together and it mixes and combines things in so we can't necessarily tell them apart and Neptune and Pisces um, they also have a lot to do with the death of the ego because Pisces and Neptune they rule the 12th house and the 12th house is where we lose the ego this is where we lose a sense of the self and so for you guys you're totally some of you guys in this pile are totally going through an ego death you're going through a spiritual awakening so make sure that you're paying attention to everything Neptune and Pisces related which is like imagination dreams artistry spirituality subconscious intuition clairvoyance illusions visions um you know, depth, consciousness, things like that. Make sure you guys are really paying attention to all that stuff because spiritually you guys are, there's something being activated for you spiritually and there's some sort of spiritual um, ascension happening for you guys or some sort of spiritual um, like leveling up happening for you guys. So let's look into, let's look into career and money good news with that we have beginning it's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career you have creative ideas that get noticed build a nest egg for the future you guys are beginning or starting something new when it comes to um career and money or this is saying that there is completely new energy surrounding career and money for you guys there's a new beginning when it comes to this space we also have timing for you underneath the deck and timing says it is all in the timing right now pull another card to see if you need to do it now wait a while or make a different decision um and so for timing to say pull another card to see if you need to do it now or wait a while i mean for beginning to also come out for you it's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career that's kind of answering this timing card so um what i'm picking up with timing is that there was just a time and place there was a divine timing at play when it came to you guys is um finances your career the energy that you were putting into those spaces there was just a divine timing for everything to come together and it's starting to now so you guys expect good news when it comes to the timing of certain things and beginnings you're gonna see like things kind of tie together right now and it may be a little bit shocking or it may it may be a little bit like things may happen very quickly with this beginning card over here so expect things to move kind of quickly let's just pull a moonology card for you we have the law of attraction and then underneath the deck here we have patience you guys have been very patient um patience could also be talking about good news surrounding something slowing down for you and not moving as quickly um or just not feeling as maybe pressured by time itself with patience right here and then we also have moon mastery the law of attraction you guys have had to be very patient when it came to the things that you attracted in your life and there's good news surrounding the law of attraction whatever it is that you are manifesting manifesting in your life is going to be something that you're really excited and happy to see so expect good news with that so expect good news with that you guys have been attracting a brand new space a brand new community um, new beginnings and career and life itself especially with first house over here first house is the is the beginning house it's the house that rules the beginning or um, new chapters okay and a card a message to you guys from your spiritual team here we have iron And underneath the deck here, we have threshold and there's a doorway, a picture of a door um, on this card. You guys are crossing over some sort of threshold for sure. So just expect things to start moving a little bit more quickly. Okay, an iron upright represents empowerment and transition. You guys are transitioning. An iron upright says we will face our fear. An iron upright says we will face our fear, powerlessness, and darkness many times in our journey sometimes we feel like we barely make it out and are for and are forced to just carry on a bit broken and very tired this is your five of cups for sure other times though it feels different iron is one of those times iron comes up when we have faced ourselves time and time again and we finally understand of how strong we are 
There is a need of iron that has been planted deep within us. It carries a knowing that nothing can truly harm us, that we can overcome anything we face. As we come out of this dark space and into the empowerment that lives in iron, we have an even deeper appreciation for the journey. We see how it repeats itself, how predictable it can be, how ordinary. It's not something that we are fighting anymore, but something that we have done many times and no longer fear. Something I've noticed about iron is that it is a pivotal transition in how we communicate about our journeys. We may not feel the need to talk about what is coming up for as much, or we don't talk about it in the same way. We don't need to complain or try to figure anything out or ask friends for advice. We know what to expect and we do the things we need to do to move through it all. There's also an incredible joy in iron after a long time. And for some of us lifetimes or feeling powerless and suffering, the initiation into the strength is unspeakably profound. In these animal bodies we have, we are programmed to seek safety, to run, to fight, to freeze, all to survive. When we truly find safety within ourselves, there are exhausted parts of ourselves that get to relax that we didn't even know were there. And you guys, this is all that I'm seeing for you. Thank you for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self and amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, pile two, welcome to your reading. So we're starting off through tarot cards, then I'll be pulling some additional oracle cards to check out what good news is on its way to you soon. So starting off with your tarot energy, we have, we've got strength. And then we also have the 10 of wands in reverse. So pile two, this is pretty to the point. Um, strength is the card of grace, resilience, and dignity. It's a very elegant card. And while on the flip side, the 10 of wands is all about just getting the job done. Resilience, grit, determination. Like in, in the 10 of wands, we're dealing with someone that is a dog. Okay. Like they are in the mud. They are doing everything that they can um, to just get it over with. They are sweating they don't care what they look like how they come off all they can focus on is the extreme responsibility or even burden that they are carrying because it is taking everything in them to keep going so in the rws version of the ten of wands you see someone struggling and doing all that they can just to make it nothing about this card is glorious it's interesting because strength would be what you see when you watch like a world-class athlete win a game they get all these awards and sponsorships and they are all over the media and it looks glamorous while the ten of wands would be all the back-breaking work injury sacrifices and pain that they went through just to get there to that win but very few people see the ten of wands it's the card of stress strength is the card of payoff the good news for you guys um coming very soon is the stress that you've been carrying around ten of wands in reverse it gets converted into some sort of reward with strength over here this ten of wands could signify all the months that you guys have spent saving up so you can finally move into your own place with strength this could talk about all the time that you've spent in therapy finally leading to a massive breakthrough if we were to get technical with the cards strength is all about winning over a potential adversary or competition choosing to team up with another party versus battling it out with them. Some of you have been engaged in a difficult fight or challenge with another person or party. And this month you could definitely see both of you on the same side and deciding to put differences to the side and work together for a common goal. And this relieves so much pressure um, with this 10 of wands over here from you. And so this solves a major obstacle that was in the way, like potential competition, or this could be someone that you cared about that you've been beefing with and you guys find resolution other good news here is many of you clearing out a major block in your life strength is ruled by the fixed fire sign leo and ten of wands is a ten of fire that is ruled by sagittarius so fire energy represents the spirit and so spiritually there could be some really good and successful cleansing work that you guys do in the near future where your energy actually feels lifted afterwards your patience and strength will end up paying off big time another thing that i'm saying with strength too is um you guys kind of getting some attention for 
um, something really good that you do, something really good that you pay, that something really good that ends up paying off. There could be something that you guys end up doing that no one else can do or no one else has achieved that you end up getting recognized for in the very near future. Strength can also talk about you guys overcoming some sort of a uh, personal challenge. So this doesn't have to be like another person that you're dealing with, but this could just be some sort of personal challenge, something that you guys have internalized and have been wrestling with for some time. Um, because when we're dealing with strength in the RWS version, we see like a woman um, embracing this lion and the lion actually uh, receiving or embracing this woman. The lion represents like the the beast part of us, the barbaric part of us, the uncivilized part of us. It's the animalistic side of us that doesn't have a lot of control. They just kind of respond to their instincts. And so that's what the lion represents in strength is it represents our instinctual, like our natural element. And the woman is going to represent how we have evolved from that place or from that space to use more of like our cognitive abilities to use more rationalization. So this is kind of telling me what strength here that some a lot of you guys, you may have been dealing with um, anger issues, issues with rage, issues with just like your emotions being up and down, ebbing and flowing a lot, um, really high highs, low lows, um, any sort of challenge that you guys, again, have been have internalized and have been facing or dealing with um, on a personal level. This is you guys overcoming that and feeling as though I've got a really good grip on this part of me that used to just trigger me so badly. So whatever has been triggering some of you guys or has been really affecting some of you guys, 10 of wands in reverse over here, it's no longer it's no longer going to have that chokehold on you where you feel as though you are carrying around the weight of your of the world on your back all the time anymore because the ten of wands can totally feel like that. We see somebody just carrying ten of wands and they're really struggling. They're hunched over backwards or they're hunched over. It's a heavy weight. It's a heavy burden to carry. So for this ten of wands to show up in reverse is also saying too, you guys have been almost um prepared in a sense you whatever is coming up for you in the very near future you guys have been prepared for it you guys are made for it you guys are able to overcome um whatever this ten of wands situation may be coming up in the near future in fact it won't even feel like a ten of wands situation it won't even feel like something that's a burden or that's too heavy to carry um in fact it's going to feel pretty easy to deal with for your 10 of wands to show up in reverse and strength to be upright. Strength upright means that you guys have been battle tested. And so you know what you're dealing with. And so um, it's just going to be so much easier for you guys to kind of control your emotions, to control your mental state, especially for those of you in this pile that have been meditating a lot or going to therapy or working on yourself or journaling or doing a lot of self-reflection. You're going to notice that some sort of a 10 of wands situation is just, it's not necessarily going to affect you. And not even that it won't affect you, but you just won't respond to it or have a reaction to it. So there's a sense of personal control um, and you guys just handling something very gracefully and very beautifully and feeling very proud of yourself. Um, and also too, for some reason with the strength card, you guys could have a bit of an audience with how you handle something or deal with something. Um, so don't be shocked if like you guys get rewarded in some way or almost praised in some way for looking as though like, oh, you handled that, like you handled that with a lot of grace. Um, also to its strength because it's ruled by Leo. There could be for those of you that pick that pick this pile. Um, if you do anything like online, um, you guys could see a lot of like traction or a lot of attention um, come to you through an audience somehow. And especially if you guys were like struggling with engagement or something, um, you guys could see a lot of that come towards you because with strength being ruled by Leo, Leo is a very, uh, with strength being ruled by Leo, Leo is a very, it's a sign that gets noticed a lot. Exactly. Leo is ruled by the sun. It's a sign that gets noticed a lot. So yeah, but we have what flipped over for you. We have conjunction. And I think Virgo wanted to be seen too. I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave them both out. But we have here conjunction for you, union. And conjunction is just an aspect in astrology. Um, it looks like this little symbol. 
And so when we have a conjunction in astrology, it just means that two like planets um, or objects are sitting kind of close to each other. And so they try to merge their agendas or their plans together in order to get something done. So it, it's kind of like when two planets are combining their energies together. Um, but it says here, join forces working together, merging, enhancing, empowering, strengthening, just like your strength card, combined energy linked um, and lack of individuality. So you guys are coming together with something or someone. Oh, I did mention that with your strength card that some, some of you guys, you may be working together with someone that you didn't expect to with this, with the strength card over here, there may be somebody that you were at odds with or could have been like beefing with and you guys end up coming together for a common goal. Yeah. With conjunction union, that would be really interesting. And that may be why this 10 of wands, uh, heaviness is kind of taken off of some of you guys' back too, because it's like, finally, like I don't have like 10 of wands means you have a lot of different things to deal with. So, um, you guys finally like coming together with someone that maybe you were at odds with, it could kind of take something off of your plate. And in fact, it's going to end up where that person could end up helping you and taking even more off of your plate. And then we have here Virgo, the perfectionist, and it says analytical planning, perfection, hard work, helpful, detail oriented, reliable, confident, skeptical, overly critical and ruler of the sixth house. So with Virgo here, there's also good news coming to Virgo energy and Virgo energy is all about basically what it just said, as well as to Virgo is a mutable earth sign. So it's all about changes coming to something that was, that used to be solid, that used to be cemented, that used to be secure or fixed. So, um, Virgo being a mutable earth sign means that it is able to bend earth. It's able to bend an element that is otherwise unbendable. And because of that, Virgo has the power to break down things, um, that aren't used to being broken down in a way. And so for you guys, like that kind of tells me that that there's good news coming to a situation that was very stubborn for a lot of you guys. It was very kind of fixed in its ways. Ten of Wands in reverse strength over here and eventually kind of got whittled down where it's like where it's not such an issue. It's not such a burden. It's not such a problem for you guys anymore or it's not such a blockage anymore. Um, I think I did mention I think I did mention with you guys' tarot cards that you may be clearing some sort of a block. I did mention that with you guys' tarot cards. And if so, that could also be this Virgo energy. Virgo also deals with health and um, healing, things like that. Virgo is definitely like a natural healer. So you guys could see um, good news coming to a space where you guys just feel like you're healing a lot in, in the near future. You feel healed from something that used to be just a stubborn issue in your life in the near future. And then with sun underneath the deck expression, ego, self, personal power, Sunday, Leo, energy, vitality, life force, leadership, pride, health, yang, and masculinity. Again, sun, it, um, sun is going to rule Leo, which rules the strength cards so there could totally be some sort of attention coming to you guys because when we think of the sun it's the only star in our solar system it shines very bright and everything in our solar system revolves around it so sun is something that essentially in, this, in astrology it gets worshipped so um yeah you guys could be like worshipped or Worship's like a strong word, but you guys could be like appreciated. You could be praised for something in the near future. And there's some good news surrounding you guys' sun, solar energy. Because when we're dealing with solar energy, we're dealing with what it is that we're known for. Um, what it is that makes us unique, what it is that makes us stand out. And so, yeah, you guys are going to be known for, you're going to get praise for standing out in a very specific way that maybe you handle a situation or maybe that you show up. So um, expect that as well. And then just pulling some career and life cards. So we have here for you wealth. You're working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. So you guys may get um, some good news may be revolving around wealth for you guys, as well as to some sort of long-term career planning, any sort of long-term goals you guys have been working towards in your career or your work life, your professional life, you guys could see that come to fruition pretty soon um, with wealth here and yeah, it says you guys are working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. There could be some sort of longstanding goal that you guys have had. You see yourself meet um, in the very, very near future. And then we have limitations underneath the deck. 
And it says obstacles are not what they seem. It says obstacles are not what they seem. You can get around them with some careful thought or simply choose something better for you. Yeah, exactly what I was saying with this 10 of wands over here and your strength card. It's like there's some sort of block that's getting cleared. There's some sort of obstacle that is not nearly as stubborn anymore. It's not nearly as rigid. Something about it has been whittled down. There's been some sort of stubborn issue in you guys' life that has just been getting like worn down at, over, over time. And so it's not a limit anymore for you guys. It's not like something that you are being restricted by anymore or, or blocked by anymore. So obstacles are not what they seem. And we also see that with strength card as well. As we just kind of did a reading over on Patreon talking about the strength card, strength card, like that little lady walking over to that lion, like that lion can look very threatening and intimidating because it's a damn lion, but she still has the courage. She still has the confidence to approach that lion. And because she is sure of herself and because she knows her intentions, that lion receives her in a very gentle way. So there's some sort of what used to be a threat is now like open to receiving you in a totally different way. It is open to seeing you in a different way. This is you guys like kind of winning someone over that you may have had issues with or winning over a situation that just may have caused issues like in the past somehow. Grab a moonology card. We have talk to the moon, talk to the moon, communicate, and then we have howl at the moon, process your feelings. I don't know who this is or what this could be, but you guys are communicating differently with some sort of situation in your life. You may be communicating differently with yourself. With talk to the moon, to, with talk to the moon, some of you guys, you may be very close to lunar moon energy. Um, the moon may be how you guys manifest or how you guys kind of plan certain things energetically. And then we have here process your feelings. Again, like I said with you guys as tarot cards when we were just looking at those, um, some of you guys, you, you may find that someone that you've had beef with is someone that you're kind of coming around to. They're coming around to you and you guys are able to communicate differently. You're able to process your feelings about this person or the situation completely differently. And you're able to, you're able to kind of move on and let things go because you guys are able to process those feelings. You're able to um, find some closure in some way. And um, also, I find it funny that it says howl at the moon and we have these wolves here howling because like I was talking about the strength card, um, the lion represents the animalistic part of us. So for you guys, there was some sort of, there was a part of you emotionally that may have been very triggered, very reactive. Like I mentioned earlier that some of you guys, you may have been in therapy, may have been working on your rage or your anger issues. And this is you guys processing those really, really intense emotions to the point that they just don't own you anymore. They don't cause you to be as reactive. You kind of feel as though you have control over them now. Final card for you guys. We have Galt. Underneath the deck, we have Harold. And Galt upright can represent doubt and fear. It says after facing survival-based fears, we will often find ourselves in some mental stickiness in an effort to keep things the same. The subconscious brain begins ramping things up. Galt is the uncertainty and doubt that comes up. It is old, inherited, and scared of change. We begin thinking things like, I don't have enough time, or I doubt this would even help, or what is the point? Galt will find us over and over again because without it, there is no triumph. This is that strength card. Galt leads us to a place of deeper empowerment. Those limiting voices in our heads are amalgamations of the doubt, fear, and stuckness we've heard throughout our lives. Each time I meet with Galt, I'm invited to sit with a new layer of inherited patterns. Leading up to the launch of a big project of ours, I pulled the rune Othala, and it is about inheritance. All of it lives within our lineage that gives us life, but also the things we need to heal or make amends for Navigating the launch, I kept coming up against a deep fear. I had met this pattern of impending doom many times before, but never like this, and I could feel how ancient it was. The question that kept coming was, will you let me live? These outside forces held my survival in their hands, a question I am certain my ancestors have felt, one I know I have sensed in my parents. As I worked through it, I kept asking my ancestors for their courage and standing up to this fear and oppression as I did as I did it for all of us. So for you, this card is an opportunity to stand up and challenge any long held limitations that live within you. This card asks for bravery, just like strength and also diligent awareness and minding your thoughts. Each moment opens a space where you can unwind them. What is feeling sticky for you right now? What are you pushing up against? What do these limitations live within? Where do these limitations live within you? And how did they come to be? What are they asking from you right now? 
and pile two this is all that i'm seeing for you guys thank you for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guides my guides are higher self and amazing spirit for these messages and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye Pile three, welcome to your reading. So we're starting off your tarot cards to check out what good news is on its way to you soon. And then I'll be pulling some additional oracle cards later on just to get some um, extra messages of, about the good news on its way to you. So starting off your tarot energy, we have the fool. And then we have the... Ace of Wands in reverse. So first of all, there's a really big chance um, for travel coming soon to you guys. That would be the first piece of good news here. Um, but a lot of you will notice as well that you dressing or presenting yourself differently will almost act like a ritual of attraction that helps manifest or bring brand new energy in this month. You'll be attracting people, spaces, experiences, and opportunities that you never have before. So that's another piece of good news. Um, in the near future, it will also feel extremely spontaneous for a lot of you, like you would have never been able to guess how the day is going to go or who you end up meeting or what new places you are exposed to or have the opportunity to go to. And for those of you that pick this pile and have been feeling like you keep hitting a ceiling or a wall, like you take one step forward and two steps back, or like you cannot get past a certain point in your life, You've got a new beginning, fresh start energy all in your cards. There's a season of progress that is about to happen for you. If this has not hit already, expect it around the start of Aries season or the spring season in the end of the month of March, around March 20th, 21st. Um, expect to start like a new chapter with the full card over here. And this can apply to any part of your life, especially with the full being such a general card. So this could be a new chapter in love, relationships, work, personal life, finances, health, etc. And so this more than likely won't come as some sort of a shock with the Ace of Wands here in reverse. This won't be a short-lived chapter either because the Fool represents a new start from the point of the Major Arcana. So Fool is card number zero, which is saying this new chapter has the capability to be life-changing and bring an endless amount of brand new opportunities and possibilities. Like you can go anywhere with this. So like if in your dating life, for example, you can't seem to get past a third date or financially you can't seem to make more than X amount of dollars per hour or month or per year, or if it's been difficult for you to get past a certain point in your savings account, if you've been dealing with chronic health conditions, your full card energy is helping you to move past a point that felt stuck and into a, a space you haven't experienced yet. So many of you will be, it's it's kind of like a new, a new starting point that you guys are going to be reaching. This is something that you've been working at. This is not something new with the Ace of Wands in reverse, like I've been saying. Um, but this is something where it's like, like, let's just say you couldn't get past $10,000 in your savings account. All of a sudden you hit 11,000 and then 12 and then 15. And it's like, oh, wow, this is new. This is, this is like a new starting point for you where now it's like, okay, now the next goal or the next threshold is going to be $20,000 for instance, just an example. But that's what, that's the energy that's present in your reading here. So many of you will be starting over completely somewhere while the Ace of Wands in reverse is helping to stabilize this new start. You guys have so much opportunity for growth, long-term growth coming to you very soon. And this is like starting a new job and getting promoted to a position you never held where you end up learning more than you did in most of your other workspaces. And Ace of Wands in reverse is really interesting in your pile too, because whenever I see this card in reverse, or usually when I see it this way, it comes through as as you having a very strong magnetic pull and in many ways feeling chosen or special or important because ace of wands is ace of fire and fire represents energy presence spirit how we present or project our being out into the world so instead of you guys really pushing your energy outside of yourself instead of you projecting it you are attracting you're pulling in you're attracting a lot towards you so these two cards together is saying you'll be attracting things you've never manifested before you're pulling in brand new energy. These are prayer these are prayers that haven't been answered for you that may also show up very differently in the near future than you expected because again this full card talks about spontaneous energy and ace of wands it talks about a spark, a lasting spark 
that leads to other places like the two of wands and then the three and so on and so forth. In reverse, the ace of wands could be saying that you guys are kind of, will kind of stay with this new beginning. You're going to kind of stay with this, this spark here. Um, you're not going to be as quickly to move on from it. You guys are just going to take your time enjoying that spark. So in reverse, the ace of wands could be saying that you guys could be having a lot of fun in the near future where it's like, if it wasn't for you switching up, being more spontaneous and going to like a different coffee house this morning with the ace of wands in reverse, you would have never met that brand new work connect um, that was able to get you an interview at a new place with the fool. So stay open to putting yourself out there um, in the near future, especially around the spring season. If you get the feeling like I should go here instead of there, um, I should break out of my own routine or my own pattern. If you get the feeling of like, wear this instead of that, wherever you feel like it's necessary to switch up your normal pattern, your normal routine, or go outside of your comfort zone, that is where you will find a lot of random blessings and good news that hit you in the, in, in pretty soon. So lastly, for those of you that's trying like a brand new healing or spiritual technique, you might find it has lasting impacts and effects on you, especially mentally, but you may even see it happen where just physically you look different. Physically, you are maybe carrying yourself differently as well. And someone here may decide to do some sort of psychedelic that really opens your mind to places that you never knew existed. There's also a strong possibility of a really like kind of like wild and crazy weekend for some of you. And don't be shocked if you meet someone, whether professionally, platonically, or romantically, that you really hit it off well with, um, where they feel like a kindred soul or spirit. You guys could feel like you've always known each other with this Ace of Wands in reverse, um, but also like there is something very exciting here with the Fool card over here. Like, I don't know what this is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know what this is going to turn into. Also with the fool and this ace of wands in reverse, this is only going to be for a small portion of you, but some of you guys, you may prefer in the near future. Um, you may have been wanting to not be tied down. You, some of you guys in this pile, you may be thinking or, or considering like letting your lease expire and like not starting a new lease somewhere else. You may just be considering like going month to month or kind of moving around or maybe moving in with a friend or moving in with family and just figuring it out and not getting into any sort of commitment right now. Because again, there's so much spontaneity in your reading here that it's like commitment is not the big focus for some of you in this pile. Like I said, that's a, a message for a smaller portion of you in this pile. But I don't know, something here feels kind of like, let me just go with the flow. Let me just kind of see what happens before I settle down somewhere. So yeah, some of you guys, you may just be um, kind of contemplating like, I think I'm going to let this, this contract or this commitment or this like lease, for example, expire. Um, maybe I'm going to get out of this job. So I have a little bit more freedom to figure something out. A lot of you guys too, as well in this pile, you're in the, you're in a, a mode or you're like in a mood where it's like, I want to figure out what to do with the future. I'm not necessarily trying to arrest the future right now. I'm just trying to see what feels right for me, where I'm meant to go. And that's where a lot of you are kind of in this transitional phase. Um, and you're not so hard pressed on like plans going to plan right now. And that's actually a really great thing for you. But the good news coming, um, to those of you that kind of want to be in this limbo sort of space is that you're going to get that opportunity to get out of some sort of commitment or a contract or maybe a job or a lease, or it could even be a relationship where um, it's felt like it's tying you down. Whatever has felt like it's tying you down um, is going to be sort of releasing you in the very near future. So you guys can kind of figure out what you want to do. Okay, let's grab some oracle cards we have Lilith taboo it says darkness untamed intensity independence erotic sexual liberation temptation secret desires fetishes shadow side empowerment and destruction and underneath the deck here we have Leo the showstopper 
And Leo says, enthusiastic, generous, magnetic, pretentious, show off, bossy, extroverted, proud, headstrong, loyal, seeks approval, loving, and the ruler of the fifth house. Um, it says the word magnetic here, and that's exactly what I was picking up with you guys' ace of wands in reverse. Um, like I mentioned, when this card shows up in reverse for me, it means that you become the magnet that's kind of pulling things in. It's not necessarily about you projecting and pushing out. And Leo being ruled by the sun is all about projecting. It's all about pushing out. It's all about that masculine act of energy. Also, there's good news about you guys being some sort of a show stopper, um, about you guys being someone that easily catches people attention, um, as well as you guys feeling a lot of enthusiasm in the, in the near future here. And then with Lilith, Lilith is a very strong, independent energy. She was the first wife of Adam, as the legend goes, that was cast out of the Garden of Eden because she didn't want to be subservient to her husband, Adam. And so with Lilith, this is all about really empowered feminine energy, strong feminine energy. Um, so this is the type of, of feminine en energy that is like not afraid to walk alone. It's the, it's the, part of feminine energy that says, I don't necessarily need a counterpart. I kind of want to do something alone. I kind of want to do something independently. I kind of want to explore other avenues and other options. And just like God and, it, you know, according to the legend of Lilith, God gave Lilith a um, option, like either you can be subservient to your husband and stay in the Garden of Eden, or you can go out into the wilderness and figure it out for herself. And she chose to go out into the wilderness and figure it out for herself. And that's exactly what I was picking up with you guys this tarot energy here is is that it's like um some of you you kind of you may want to sort of be without anything holding you holding you down you guys may be trying to like cut any sort of strings attached to you right now where you're just independent and you're doing your own thing and you're kind of figuring out where you want to settle down or what you want to do you're not you're not trying to be um, like attached to very many things right now. You want to be able to be spontaneous. And so, um, yeah, that's a lot of good news that's coming to you guys as well. It's just this empowered sense of like um, in independence. And there could even be... Uh, good news coming to you guys is to you guys in terms of like sexual liberation, your shadow side, empowerment, destruction, any sort of, um, any sort of thing that you guys needed to sort of like destroy in order to go out and be independent and find your own way, do your own thing. That's good news coming to that um, area of your life as well. And as well as to intensity. Um, some of you guys, you may have just been living a very kind of like routine life and it may have become a little stagnant for you. And like Lilith says here with um, intensity, there could be good news coming to you guys in terms of intensity and passion and feeling as though like you guys are really living living your life. And Leo will deal with that too. And the fifth house will deal with like us falling in love with life. Um, because Leo in the fifth house, it's a house of romance, but romance in the sense of like falling in love with life, just being in love with everything around you, finding things to fall in love with. There's good news coming to that as well. Let's look into career and life energies for you. Good news coming to career and life. Okay. So cultivation flipped over. as well as gifts. So there's a lot of cards, obviously a stack of cards underneath cultivation, but we have cultivation gifts in the future. So at cultivation, it says, um, you are in the growing phase right now and exactly, and you must continue to water the seeds that you have planted in order to reap the rewards. You guys are totally in a, um, a growing phase. And that may be why some of you are like, listen, I don't want to be tied down right now because something's happening here. <laughs> like something's growing, things are developing, things are changing. I don't need to be locked down. Some of you, you may have been inspired to kind of maybe get out of a relationship or get again, just get out of some sort of agreement or a contract or a commitment or a super structured like lifestyle or routine or something. I don't know. It just kind of keeps coming back to that feeling of like, I, I want to be free right now. Um, we also have here gifts that says you are uncovering new talents. That's that Leo energy. Um, that will land you new work in a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. Uh, that could also be that full card energy right here too. So look out for good news surrounding gifts. So with gifts coming out for you guys, and, and this is like a good news reading, this is like a surprise gift or, um, 
surprising in in terms of something coming to you uh just out of people being generous or some sort of situation being generous and just wanting to gift you something and then we have here the future that says plan for the future while living in the present you are always supported by spirit your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity so your psychic ability can totally bring you guys prosperity you guys may be working with cosmic energies or spiritual energies right now to bring certain prosperity prosperity into your future but it's really interesting that it says plan for the future while living in the present because the one thing that i keep picking up with you guys is that a lot of you you don't want to be tied down right now so you can eventually figure out what you want to do for the future so there is good news coming to those of you that may be like that small portion of you that may be kind of like okay i kind of want to see where things are going to take me so i don't want to be like locked down right now um for those of you in that position you may have been a little worried about your future because you're so used to always having a plan. And now that you don't have one, you're kind of like, oh God, like what's going to happen? Or is this a bad idea? No, your future will, you guys are going to end up coming into um, a plan for your future or uh, creating structure in your future again. You guys just may need this moment right now, this transitional moment where you're just not, you're not promised anything or locked down by anything. All right, let's get a Moonology card for you guys. We have here Dark Moon, the past, um, and then underneath the deck, take a risk. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely contemplating like taking a risk and getting out of some sort of job or a commitment or routine or let something that you're used to. You're 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 preparing yourself to break a pattern for sure with this full card down here, Ace of Wands in Reverse, spontaneous energy. You guys are just ready to take a risk. And then with the past, um, there's good news coming to something in terms of taking a risk, but as well as your past too. And I feel as though the past card here is talking about you guys breaking away from um, whatever sort of pattern the past kind of initiated or started for you guys. So uh, with your past here too, because we also have the full card, which is all about new beginnings and the future. And we even have a card here that says the future. <laughs> the past kind of reminds me of what I picked up for you guys, where um, I mentioned that a lot of you guys will be starting over completely somewhere. And this Ace of Wands is going to help you guys stabilize that new beginning. Because in the past, you guys got used to um, only hitting a certain threshold before things kind of recycling or starting all the way back over again. So I feel like the good news that's coming to anything concerning your past is that the past is in the past. You guys are moving forward with brand new energy. You don't have to worry about the past coming in and in some way um, poisoning whatever it is that you have going on in your present or in your future. And if any of you guys tried to start some sort of new beginning in the past and it just didn't work out, um, don't be worried about that. I feel like the good news for you guys is we have fracture here that flew out for you guys. So I'll be reading that out of the book and then thorn, but don't be worried about whatever happened in the past that may have kept you guys, um, kind of stuck in a sense. Okay. And fracture upright means life changing event or big change. And it says, welcome to the moment of no return. Like I said, you guys are not going back to the past. It says the fracture can wear many faces, but most often it is born through a big life altering event. And this is when the journey begins in earnest as it's where we truly understand we cannot go backwards, just like the full card being card number zero. It says, depending on our resistance level and what needed to happen for us to understand this, it can sometimes feel traumatic. Sometimes the universe creates a force so strong and removes us from our previous life in such a way that it's impossible to return. It can feel like we are scrambling, that's the past card again, and the future over here showing up for you guys. It can feel like we're scrambling to keep up all the while trying to process the deep grief and loss coming up. This can be a time where many of our tools have no effect on us. My first fracture moment was losing my car, license, home, and job all within a week. This didn't even happen as a result of a DUI or anything like that. It was just multiple separate events crashing in on me, making sure there was no way I could keep going forward on that path. And of course, this experience was deeply traumatizing for me so when we meet the fracture the best thing we can do is tend to our nervous system when the events around us fe feel threatening and 
present and present big change, our nervous system often gets locked into fight, flight, freeze, fawn, faint response. The more we can take small steps to regulate it every day, the easier it will be to transition through this period. Yeah, you guys are going through a transitional period for sure. But pile three, this is all that I'm saying for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guys. My guys are higher self and amazing spirit for these messages. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, pile four, welcome to your reading. So we're starting off through tarot cards and I'll be pulling some additional oracle cards to check out what good news is on the way to you soon. So getting started with your tarot energy, we have the pillar, which is um, the empress. And then we have the seven of wands. So the first good news for you with this Empress card here is she's the card of blessings or abundance. The Empress is abundant in everything she wants. She is without need. So the good news coming in for you very soon is feeling like everything is taken care of, especially financially or materially since the Empress, like the Emperor, deal with the material realm. Many of you won't be feeling like you're in need of much of anything at all. A lot of you have tapped into the soft life with the Empress here. You are too taken care of and sitting far too pretty to deal uh, with the seven of wands energy for sure for the seven of wands to show up in a reading about good news coming to you where have you felt attacked pile four or like you have been overwhelmed with problems or like you have been in constant crisis management unable to take a breather where have you felt like someone or people were coming for you or jealous of you or trying to make problems in your life have you felt spiritually mentally or emotionally attacked have you been maybe watching a loved one really go through it and suffer without being able to really do anything have you felt kind of like hopeless in that way or helpless, I should say? If you answered like yes to any of these questions, that's where you'll see a lot of this relief come in in the, in the near future. And it'll be the best news to you guys because in the Seven of Wands, we're seeing someone deal with the surprise attack, at least in the RWS version. Um, they went from living the high life in the Six of Wands being celebrated to them being almost punished or ambushed for the very thing that they were being praised for. So that tells me that some of you guys have been experiencing saying empress energy big blessed energy and it has pissed someone or people off around you someone may not want to see you win they may be essentially hating on you for doing well or this could be someone that's having a hard time hiding their own jealousy but they are hiding behind a smile and fake compliments maybe they're just not experiencing uh, a chapter of abundance in their life and they're having a difficult time watching you do that they could feel entitled to it like they deserve the good fortune that you're getting or are about to get and just being brutally honest about what I see here, not for all of you, but for some of you, there will be someone that gets exposed in your life in the near future, um, especially for those of you that already prayed or asked spirit or the universe to reveal your enemies to you. The mask is going to slide right off in the near future. And this is good news for those of you who either asked for this revelation or those of you who are about to move into an Empress chapter. Empress chapters, whether you are more masculine or feminine, is simply about having everything that you want at your disposal. Again, there's no such thing as need when it comes to the empress. Everything she wants is within arm's reach. So someone around you that is in survival mode or has been feeling deficient or disadvantaged um, or like they've been losing at life could have a visceral reaction to how easy life looks on you. Like to them, it could look as is though life is so easy for you. Even though some of you guys, you may be dealing with the seven of wands. You may be dealing with a lot of haters. You may be dealing with like people that just don't want to see you win. You may be dealing with a lot of defensive energy coming at you, but very soon they expose themselves. And again, the seven of wands is about a surprise attack. Six people run up on my guy who was just reigning supreme in that six of wands. And look at the card that you have though. It's the empress. The universe is not only trying, but is protecting the hell out of you and the empress environment that you have built. They are protecting you from those that want what you have. So you guys may not even... Some of you in this pile may not even notice, especially if you haven't asked the universe to reveal any enemies to you. 
it may be because you're so damn protected. You're not picking up on like these, these seven of wands, like gross energies around you that are kind of like they're envious or jealous of what you have. They feel entitled to it. They want it. Um, you may not even notice it because you're being so well protected. Cause again, in those seven of wands, these people feel entitled to it. And many of you in this pile, you have already discerned it, but you want it to maybe see it for yourself. And that wish is granted for those of you that asked for that clarity. And whatever material thing that you want has the power to be manifested in the near future. You might not see that manifestation come to fruition by the end of the month, for instance, like the end of March, but seeds are so easily planted by you right now and they take root. So in other words, no one and nothing can disturb or intercept whatever you call out for in the near future. Your prayers are not only spiritually protected seven of wands but physically with the empress here so for those of you that have been wanting to start a family or expand your family as well there could be someone in your vicinity that is envious of that and spirit is even protecting this new life coming in for you they will be protected from this energy because it cannot touch whatever has been promised to you that's already yours so the only thing that the seven of wands is manifesting is their own karma to eventually experience someone or something turning on them at some point or um sending like bad energy their way now pile four on the flip side here you guys may end up seeing someone fight for you very soon this could be someone fighting to keep you in their life or to keep you happy or to go out of their way to help you because seven of wands can show someone who is up against a lot of odds and still manage to hold their own so another piece of good news is someone may show you exactly how much you mean to them and what they're willing to do to keep you around, to keep you happy with the seven of wands as well, because the empress is a very, very well insulated character in tarot. She is so protected. She's so in her own world and in her own bubble that no one else is around. The only other beings that it's, that she's entertaining is like nature itself. Um, so yeah, you guys could totally see someone kind of coming to your defense and feeling as though you deserve protection, you deserve peace, you deserve like, it's like someone kind of comes to your defense because they're like, you're not hurting anyone, you're not bothering anyone, you're minding your own business, you're doing your own thing. And someone may come to your defense because of that, or someone may be trying to win you over um, pile four. Okay, so we have here Breakthrough. Libra, the mediator, was um, also underneath Uranus. So we have Uranus Breakthrough, Change, Originality, Awakening, Aquarius, Shocking, Revolutionary, Innovation, Sun Events, Epiphanies, Unconventional, and Unusual. And Uranus is a very, very strange planet. And so uh, with Uranus, it's all about new innovation. It's all about kind of like new energy in the sense that Uranus enjoys doing what it wants to do. It is a very, it's a planet that can be known to be rebellious, but it's not necessary. It depends on how you look at it. Uranus is just more so like, I will not follow the crowd. Like I'm not going to follow the trend. I am the trend. I set the trend. I'm the one that creates the wave and everyone else follows me. So there's some sort of a breakthrough here in terms of you guys definitely, um, kind of setting the stage or, um, kind of setting the energy what i'm picking up between uranus and the seven of wands is like people may be coming at you or they may be defensive or they may be trying to go at you with the seven of wands energy but because you're in such this empress state you are empress is very grounded as well you guys are so grounded you know who you are you know the environment that you want to create and keep around you you're so confident and sure of that that um you end up kind of dictating the energy um between uranus and the seven of wands over here we also have libra the mediator it says fair people pleaser balanced sociable sensible diplomatic polished easygoing fickle indecisive harmonious self-indulgence ruler of the seventh house so you guys may um there could be a mediator that steps in to kind of help you guys out like i said on the flip side you guys could totally be dealing with someone that's like hey like um you know pile four isn't bothering anyone like why are you even reacting or responding like this why are you taking things this way there could be a mediator that totally steps in 
um, in this situation because they're seeing what's going on and they're just seeing they're seeing both sides very clearly. So you guys could expect that um, with Libra here. Libra definitely rules partnerships. It rules the other. So you guys may um, for those of you that may have been going through a rough time with your partner, one of your partnerships, a very important partner to you. You guys could find that some sort of mediation really works for you or therapy or some sort of third unbiased party really helps you guys to um kind of come together or figure out your differences uh, with this Libra mediator card here. And then we have moon emotions underneath the deck that says moods, intuition, personal fears or personal needs, Monday, cancer, the unconscious, comfort, feelings, family, home, reflecting yin and femininity. And so with moon here, like it says personal needs, I feel like that is kind of applying to you guys' empress card or empress energy where it's like your personal needs are met. Um, and like we talked about with the Empress, she's the ultimate like feminine figure and moon is the mother in astrology. She's represents femininity. So for you guys, you're definitely just in a feminine place right now. Like no matter if you're like male or female, like none of that matters. Like you're in your feminine chapter right now where you're just like, I refuse to be bothered. Like I have set up such a peaceful environment for myself. And that's the only thing that I'm going to respond to is peace. I'm not responding to any sort of seven of wands energy here. It's not what I'm interested in. That's not what I want. That's not what I want to spend my time doing is responding to any sort of drama, any sort of fakery, any sort of dumbness. Like you guys just don't see the point in it. You don't see the value in responding to seven of wands situations. Um, and also too, this kind of confirms for those of you that maybe you're in a relationship and there is somebody that is trying to fight to prove themselves to you or fight to show you that like they want you in their life, that they love you, something like that. Um, this could be someone that is trying to um, emotionally fight their way back into your life as well. And so there could be good news surrounding that, but let's grab a career and life card. Okay, so we have here answers. Underneath that was adventure. Um, but I believe answers want it to be seen underneath the deck. We have reflection, just like I think moon mentioned reflection. Yeah. Reflecting right there. Okay. So, um, answers here says you will resolve your current situation soon. Work-wise you find unique ways to stand out. You find a new opening with job security. So you guys are going to be finding, um, a new opening with job security. So this could even be the job that you're currently at. And maybe you just want more security. Maybe you just want more um, pay. Maybe you want more um, security in terms of like, I want to know that I have a job here like long term. You guys will be getting answers for those of you that pick this pile and feel as though there is some doubts when it comes to your work and career. You guys will be finding answers and more clarity surrounding that. Um in the very near future and it's going to be good news for you as well and then we have here reflection it says take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do knowing what you don't like will show you what you truly love this is totally that empress energy and this is why you guys have been reflecting this is why you guys refuse to deal with any sort of seven of wands energy or situation because it's like i've reflected i know what it's like to live without peace i've created a life of peace i've created a life of abundance and of luxury or that's what i'm moving towards and i'm not sacrificing that for anyone so you guys are just not giving someone or something the the attention that they that they want with the seven of wands over here because they're going about it in the wrong way they're going about trying to get your attention in the absolute worst way possible and they're just not going to be able to get access to you because again like i said the empress she's a very insulated character people just don't have access to her like she's the empress right she's even more important than a queen in tarot so even the queens would have to get in line um to you know be in her presence so for you guys you're very 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 strict about your boundaries about who has access to you about who is allowed to um pull your attention or get your attention who is allowed to um, be in your presence, take up your time, take up your space, take up your energy. You're just extremely clear headed about that with this reflection card over here. Just grabbing a Lunology card. Okay. So we have here a watch for signs. This is that reflection and answers over here and um, the moon card as well. So we have follow the moon, watch for signs. And then we have um, underneath the deck meant to be. So something is definitely meant to be with you guys. Um, the good news that's coming through is meant to be, it's meant to happen. So um, there could be whatever breakthrough ends up happening for you guys, um, it was always faded. In other words, with this meant to be card over here and the Empress, because we have like, 
we have like what looks almost kind of similar to um, feminine energy, like mother maiden crone. So for you guys, there's something that was fated in terms of this Empress energy. You were always fated to experience this peace, to experience this chapter of peace and abundance and prosperity and to not be disturbed with that. And this, this is why you guys as well are so well protected. And then we have watch for the signs. For those of you going back to that message that we picked up when we were just looking at your tarot cards, for those of you that asked for clarity, you asked for answers from the universe and from spirit, like who actually has my back? Who actually is envious or or is jealous of what I have or isn't happy for me? Watch for the signs, okay? Because the signs are going to help reveal a lot of those answers to you for sure. Yeah, and we even have answers coming out for you guys. I even forgot about that. All right, just pulling a final card. We have here Phantasm. And underneath the deck, we have Hollow. Phantasm upright says false enemy examining perception. Interesting. And it says our minds can be incredibly persuasive. Sometimes when we are triggered by something, we may believe those thoughts. Phantasm is truly a call to examining our perception. We may let ourselves believe that someone is a problem when they aren't. We may buy into our current perception without checking it. This doesn't mean we shouldn't trust ourselves, but it does mean that we are when we are triggered by something, we should investigate the why as opposed to believing our response in the present moment without question. When phantasm finds you, it's an indicator of a false enemy, meaning there's someone that you're believing is the problem when they may not be deserving of that. So that's really interesting because with your seven of wands over here, what came through for some of you is that you may be dealing with someone that is envious of what you have, but on the flip side, this could be somebody that's trying to fight for you to stay in their lives as well. So you guys are just going to really have to use discernment in terms of who truly belongs in your empress space and your moon intuition spiritual um voice your intuitive voice is going to come through and reveal those answers to you in terms of who should be in your life who's an actual enemy and who isn't okay and but don't put too much thought into it to the point that um you're feeling almost stressed or feeling like you're trying to, you know, really figure that out. It says this also includes yourself. When I sit with this card, I reflect on the many times I truly believe someone to be a problem for me. Sometimes I would get upset that I couldn't change them. Other times I felt they treated me badly. In hindsight, I can see how much discomfort I was creating for myself simply because I wasn't ready to give up my perspective. This card is a great reminder that not everything is as it appears. Phantasm can indicate that we may still be buying into this idea that there is a right way of doing something, whether we are are believing this about ourselves or about others this is a mindset that can trap us so this card asks you to disconnect from whatever perspective you may be locked into and try to see it from another place are you feeling haunted in any way by yourself or another if so there is a way that allows you to find more liberation and ease how do you think you could shift this for yourself and pile four this is all that i'm seeing for you guys thank you for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guides my guides our higher self and amazing spirit for these messages and i'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.